And focus your mind to this bell sound and follow the sound, please. And let your body to set body to settle down itself. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa So your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. Bring your attention to your body and mentally relax your body, mind and relax your breathing. And scan hit to toes three times yourself. And say, so patweva o may I be well and happy. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice the science and meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment, this is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing your bodily sensation and the inhalation, exhalation. So in the beginning, we're going to relax our body step by step. So Remember each and every inhalation, exhalation, take deeply, gently and slowly. So when you inhale, inhale through your nose and when you exhale, exhale through your mouth. So in between inhalation, exhalation, keep a little gap. Bring your attention to your right arm. And slowly, deeply, gently breathing through your nose and focus your mind and bring that all the air to your right arm, only to your right arm. Visualize yourself. Hold it. And slowly breathe out, slowly, deeply, gently breathe out. And your left arm, slowly, deeply, gently breathing. Hold. And breathe out. Your back and spine slowly, deeply, gently breathing. Oh. 
hold and breathe out. Your abdominal area, slowly, deeply, gently breathing and holding. And breathe out. In your chest and abdomen, so chest, deeply breathing to your chest, slowly, deeply, gently. Hold it. And breathe out. To your right leg. Slowly, deeply, gently, through to your right leg, breathing, hold, breathe out. To your left leg, slowly, deeply, gently, and breathe out. To your neck and to your head, slowly, deeply, gently breathing. Hold it. And breathe out. Okay, now to your whole body, head to toes, your whole body. Okay, deeply, slowly and gently breathing to your head to toes, your whole body. Hold it. Breathe out. Again, deeply, slowly, gently breathing. Hold it. Breathe out. Again, slowly, deeply, gently breathing. And breathe out. So now take a deep breath to under your belly, your lower belly area and hold it. It's like you're filling air to a balloon and hold the air head to toes. Your whole body should fill with the air and keep as long as you can. Okay, slowly, deeply and gently breathing. Hold it. And slowly breathe out. Bring attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Few times take a deep, rough inhalation, exhalation and recognize the sensation. So then after that, just allow your inhalation, exhalation happen itself. And follow the sensation, just recognize.
take a mental note, this is inhalation, this is exhalation. Just try to separately recognize. Don't try to, to inhale, exhale yourself. Just allow it to happen naturally. Just recognize the rising and falling. Bring a little bit more attention and recognize this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the inhalation, this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the exhalation. Just follow the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Some inhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft. Just recognize the very nature of it and accept it. Rising and falling has a deeper and deeper and behavior. Deeply that everything arises, exists and disappearing itself. It's like water bubble, the sensation, the moment that you recognize. It's not happening because of unchangeable something going here and there, moving up and down. Your sensation arise in that very moment, in that very place. 
like when the rain water come and hit the ground the itself the water bubble arise in that very moment in that very place same like your sensation arise not because of the inhalation or exhalation going out or coming in the sensation arise in that very moment it has the contact with the air. Observe. Try to locate your mind. Try to get into the depth of the sensation of the inhalation, exhalation. What is the bottom? All over your body, whatever the sensation, the same. The whatever the thought arise, the same. This entire universe follow the same method. Even though in the surface level we see things it's like a journey. In the depth of that, that journey Things arise, exist, and disappearing itself in that very moment. Be patient yourself. Don't overthink. Learn to wait and experience the moment. Just settle down yourself with that one single moment. No, that is your life. Not whatever the past or the future. Whatever you recognize in this very moment, that is the real experience you get through your life. Be with it. Learn to settle down without looking anything or comparing. even without having self-centered mind. 
knowingly that moment itself changing because the experiencer who experienced this change also change moment by moment. There is no any doer, somebody keep doing anything beyond this world. According to necessary conditions, experience arise followed by the experience. Bring attention to your body. Take a moment. Know yourself. You are so lucky to have this moment and experience this time. You are so blessed. Appreciate yourself. And at the same time, now there are a lot of people in this very moment missing, the, missing this moment. People struggling with death, struggling with life, have fear, anxiety, depression, helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness, struggling with disease or the illness. This is paying your gratitude, share your heart with them. May they come out of that fear, anxiety, depression, helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness. May they have the strength, courage and wisdom to go through the situation and find the harmony within themselves. Find the peace, tranquility state. Not only them. Share this moment, share your heart with your dear near ones, your loved ones. Your beloved parents, husband, wife, children, brothers, sisters, friends and family members. Your neighbors, village people, city, state, country. All living beings in this world and in this universe. Not only them as far as you can. Through galaxies, other planets, the stars, let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it. With the maximum effort to the highest, wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. So mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Being sure, pray low, strong, tall or short. Big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, 
already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Visualize yourself and send it as a light forward. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward. And upward. to all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy around it without any condition, without any limitation, without any judgment or without any resistance. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma friends, as ordinary people ourselves, we are so into intelligence. And uh, in day-to-day -day life, we like to, to accumulate a lot of information and we try to increase our intelligence. But at the same time, we have to know to how to develop our wisdom because the wisdom, the intelligence, how the intelligence become wisdom. So whatever that you study, whatever the knowledge you accumulate through your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind and in different different ways maybe you it can come through books it can come through culture it come can come through tradition even it can transform to you through environment anyways the whatever that you study you learn that that knowledge when you repeat yourself and when you go through certain 
process repeating it and it become you are intelligent so that intelligence become wisdom when you go through that process that yourself you start to to understand something it is not the same that what you learn it is not the same that whatever the outcome come through the process end of the process in the middle of this all you start to get something that become your wisdom but the thing is we exercise this wisdom with this outside world so what is missing ourselves we forget to 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 look inside us and see how this head to toes this body happening so practicing meditation itself make you wise related with your inside mechanism not this outside world when this inside mechanism become very clear 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 naturally you start to develop a clarity regarding the outside you're not going to missing anything but the thing is once we become so into this outside world and outside information once we start to go with it and sometimes we forget to to develop the clarity within ourselves so the meditation is a way meditation is a mental culture culture itself mean there are uh, different meanings with the culture also and uh, one meaning is the culture it can you, you can break down it to different form like uh, you can culture the milk and that's mean you you change the milk the format of the milk and once you culture the milk and it it going to to go away from natural process it is start to behave in according to whatever the will that the person used to hold it another thing is that ourselves that when we develop the mental capacity when we develop the mind itself and using certain method whoever used to do in the past and that also become the culture the but the very nature should be in the culture the transforming truth from past to this moment generation to generations so how much truth that you learn from your past or do you know that whatever the things that you learn with your physical mental behavior is it truthful or you just do it as a action just to pass the time or the situation just to maintain the situation but when it come to mental culture this meditation means it's the very clear path that when you walk in this path when you exercise with this path what is happening naturally the mind is start to get into true nature it never going to mix with some some ideas it's like uh, we use another word called brainwash you putting something on the top of the uh, the mind but this is not kind of like that you become very clear and you allow your mind to work as it is but the thing is this when it come to the consciousness or the awareness there are certain things you have to break down this mind to separate separate part and when you develop the wisdom what is the wisdom so the wisdom is this when you able to listen this very carefully your wisdom means when you able to to understand your thoughts your emotions your will your awareness 
and the mechanism of the connection of the body mind and the outcome that is what your wisdom that is the wisdom mean when you are able to master 100% to regarding your thoughts you know how it arises from the, the what is the process of your thought why it come like that way where are it going to go you know from beginning to end the process and the emotions the emotions mean when the thought itself sometimes not the we have the physical mechanism in our body that we know that our entire body is chemical this whole body is drugs drugs itself that uh, the scientists can break down this head to toes all the body parts to all the scientific the materials so our body is itself drugs you no need to take a, another drugs yourself so you are already drugs and uh, so the what is happening when the thought get connecting with this that the physical chemicals or the the emotion that the the current that create the emotion that means the energy in motion with the thoughts create the emotions so once you recognize that you can tap it you can recognize it you can know, you can understand it it's like understanding a code so see that how the scientists trying to find the, this uh, uh, medicine for virus and they trying to get into the the behavior of it and recognize the code that, that what is the the mechanism inside once you know that you can develop something the same thing in, in your body also with your emotions and when the physical mental get connecting that the, the current start to accumulate with the the thoughts and it it become something else so you that when you become wise mean your wish that your wisdom when you become wise what is happening you able to recognize this the recognition itself the solution for your emotions that as example you have kind of like a, the desire to do something and you are so emotions to ice cream then when you when you see ice cream or cheesecake or or butter cake or cookies you you ready to almost cry you ready to die you ready to jump over it even sometimes and people go to sleep and when they doing fasting the i know so there are some people when they doing fasting and they they don't eat any sweets and they go to sleep while they sleeping you know what is happening they start to walk towards the the refrigerator and open it and eat all the ice cream and by sleep and then go to sleep by the morning and they feel kind of like uh, they they feel good but they they think that they keep doing the fasting but they didn't recognize when the emotions high what they did and they never want to question it they say it is okay just to start from it so like that but when you become wiser you you recognize it what is the solution for emotions when you recognize that when the thought and energy mix when you recognize itself emotions become powerless that recognition come out of the the awareness you have to you have to practice for that otherwise if you just go with it go with it and you will never catch it and other thing is the will you have to recognize the will the will come out of the power of the choice so even in very even with the very little things if you are able to want to sleep that you, your body say you want to sleep you say no i am not going to sleep you recognize this sleeping and you put the value on it uh, something and you not going to sleep so you go against that the deeper the whatever the behavior the patterns or the the whatever the current holding us that that is will 
So and another thing is the awareness. So the uh, the how the awareness come, that awareness come always that you guide your attention and towards the intention. So that is where the awareness come. So otherwise, just putting attention, it doesn't make any sense. It's like a, it's like a flashlight and like an ordinary torch. Just an ordinary torch that it's go like this way. But when you take a flashlight and a, like a laser beam, so once you put it go to exactly. So the awareness is like this. You recognize this is the important and you not allow your all the mental thoughts or the, the behavior to go anywhere it wants. And so you focus to something and you recognize, okay, in this very moment, this is what I have to do. Uh, that also come out of the wisdom and the body mind connection and the body mind the whatever the outcome come as an action that the action bodily verbally or mentally action this all when you have that understanding clear understanding regarding this all that is where you become wise and that is what called clear consciousness awareness regarding your thoughts regarding your emotions regarding your will regarding your awareness and the the body mind the mechanism and the outcome as a action so it is possible why did this all arise with the the choice that you have inside you so then when you have a choice that the that choice itself come out of that you are understanding what you want to do the because that it itself it's not going to come to you so when it come to the consciousness the consciousness come out of the choice without the choice that you cannot conscious it's like a, without the point you cannot focus it's like you putting the to, the the light to sky so then that in in day to day life the what is happening when you don't have that the choice the itself you just feel that you feel busy you feel like uh, you doing a lot of things but still in a deeper level there is no productive happiness inside so then in the when you practice meditation what is happening then you have a choice that is the men focusing to mental object and then you become that aware regarding the thoughts you have you have now choice to stay with the the mind the the, the sensation and you have mental object and you always go with it so when the thoughts go here and there you look this is not the thought that i wanted this is not the 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 what i am doing here so you bring you are aware of your mind, your thoughts regarding the breathing. And the emotions and sometimes that the whatever the position you hold and according to that certain certain things happen and during the day whatever happened and that also start to react. But still when you have a choice and in, when you are not moving, you start to recognize how this happening. As I mentioned, that recognition itself become the solution for your emotion. And the will. So now you have follow the sensation and follow the breathing. And then the body want to change and the mind want to go there. You say, no, I stay here. I stay here. I, I want to follow the breathing. Ah, then show you, you, you exercise your will. And in, in and itself, there is a recognition arise. And that recognition that whatever the, the focus you going through and that focus will come with the contacts and the recognition arise and then you recognizing that is where the awareness arise. So when you keep doing this body mind exercise again and again and again and again, deeply what is happening, your consciousness becomes sharper and clear. See, there is no magic. Only thing is that you have to recognize this body mind mechanism clearly and you have to recognize how this is happening. And once the, the once you get into one point and a stay, 
and what is happening your consciousness becomes sharper clear 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 that is become your wisdom once your consciousness able to recognize yourself and in that very moment what is happening and uh, how this happening that's become your wisdom it is not about outside it is really recognizing within your own experience within your own self and the thing is once you able to understand this that recognizer itself also you have power to observe and understand how this recognizer behave that is the the bigger part because before the buddha no one no one touched the recognizer all they 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 went through the recognition and the buddha is the one who through the vipassana that is the method of the that's why there is no any other you can look for any other religion so far in this 2564 years in this journey there are many religions came even the before the buddha there is no any method there is no any religion talk about a method how to tap to the observer so that's why that is the that is why it is not a just a argument it is just you know the clear fact there is no any method they use there are a lot of people believe don't touch it it is a, we have no rights to touch that we don't know how it is just let it be just go with the the outside result but that going with this outside result maybe you can go to heaven maybe you can go to other planes or the other uh, existence but who knows but even we go there that uh, it never going to be the same or the permanent it going to always change so the misery is sometimes that when you live in a place without knowing it going to change that is a misery just think about it. you come to a position and you stay there without knowingly that itself you not that knowingly yourself you don't know you going to change so that's itself misery it's, it's a illusion that's why even there are some the the angels or the you can go to heaven or the you can become a god if the god don't know that god itself going to change it going to end one day it's in illusion ah uh, that's why the buddha went through this all and told everyone whoever in this even the he went to the heavens and all the other uh, existence and told hey whatever you go through whatever you experience remember it going to change one day and that is a blessing for them also that's why they bless upon the buddha and you see that uh, Buddha is the teacher for human and all the angels and all the deities and everyone. Why? Because this is what Buddha said. Hey, you whatever you enjoy, hey, remember this is going to change. So then yourself understand deeply as a human being. That is the greatest thing that you can get in. There are a lot of people in the world in the when it come to little five minute situation. they act like it is the end of the world they don't believe, they don't understand this dharma they don't think that things going to change and they not ready to accept it that is the that is the biggest the danger within ourselves that's why you need this knowledge that's why you have to understand that's why you have to be wise you have to be wise not regarding this outside world fact you have to be wise regarding your thought your emotions your will your awareness your body and mind connection that is the wisdom not uh, how far you can count or the how many planets you can see you know how far you can run not that things so then yourself if you go with that what is happening that is my next point so why i give this all the information to tell you because if you not become wise with that your thoughts your emotions your will your awareness your body mind connection you know what is happening when the when the thought arise 
when the emotions arise, when the will arise, when the awareness arise, when the body mind connection start to work, if you don't recognize, sometimes it can go against you. That is the point today I'm going to mention. Remember, when you don't know your thoughts, your emotions, your will, your awareness, your body mind, how this is happening, it can go against you. Your wisdom can challenge you that your wisdom, the build that the wisdom you build. If you don't become very clear with your thoughts or your emotions, your will, your awareness, your body mind connection, if you build if you build the wisdom regarding this outside world, any moment it can go against. That's why there are a lot of people very famous and uh, they had everything. And materially, they are very successful, very famous, and good looking. In the but they suicide. How this is possible? Because in in ordinary way, we can name them as successful people. But how they come to a position to to kill themselves? That's mean they attack themselves. How they come to that kind of illusion? Because they don't become wise regarding their thoughts, emotions, will, awareness, body-mind connection. If you become wise, even you are a fool, you're going to have a very comfortable life. So then remember, just becoming wise is so dangerous. So that's why how you can develop the, the awareness regarding thought, emotions, will, that, uh, and emotions and the body-mind connection. That is why you need the spiritual background because the spiritual background means you deeply, you, you develop your mind with the reasons and the, with the loving kindness, compassion. When you go with that as ordinary person, when you go with the reasons, and uh, with the loving kindness, compassion, and it, it reduce the, the natural current and you, you minimize it. So spirituality, that's why it bring the, in the first level, bring the, spirit, the, the discipline, not to, re not to react with things, not to go with things, go away, not to, not to go with the current. So when you don't have the, any spirituality in the deeper level, the bottom level, the whatever wisdom you develop, very dangerous. That is what you see today. Look at, look at today yourself and sometimes even ourselves with the husband, wife, children, friends and family, sometimes you behave. How, how you can behave like that? How it is possible? If you are not the person to clearly understand or clearly have the hundred percent give your heart with the loving kindness and compassion to your husband or the wife, who going to give it? Neighbor? Or somebody far away from another place from a Facebook friend? And then if they give, they go with them. You have seen that. For you, if you cannot give the clarity or the understanding or the love, compassion, 100%, so to your children, who going to give? Maybe in a school, classmate, uh, college, they will find somebody. They're going to listen to them than you. And then you come to temple and tell, oh, venerable sir, my child not listening to me and do this, that, that. How possible? Why? Because you didn't develop a spirituality with the connection. That's the reason. What is the spirituality in the base level mean? Understanding, fully understanding and giving you a love and compassion. 100% without holding. Just try it. And even the, the partners or the, the friends or any connection. Even, to, even it come to the, the, the president and the, the ordinary people. When that connection disappear, you know, things cannot work in the world. That is, the, that is the main thing happening in today. We are losing our spirituality. We are so into, you know, 
the things in the life and uh, we are sacrificing a lot of things regarding come out of the virus but the thing is we not exercise our spirituality ourselves we become more egocentric more egocentric people in the world and you will see the world going to have a very you know hard time in the future why because this all situations collapse and the people go collapse from the spirituality become egocentric 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 that's why you see the people not learning anything from whatever the situation come that's why we cannot fix this it never happened overnight it keep happening you know it came through so far so it 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 so only thing is how you can survive from this start to develop the spirituality and get into that and get into that with your own people with your husband wife children friends and family members develop a spirituality before you develop the spirituality with the church or the temple or the mosque and can you give 100% can you understand 100% and can you listen 100% to, to other people can you do the maximum the effort to others regarding your own and then you will see how it open your wisdom and how you going to develop the clarity inside you so remember that uh, now you cannot come to temple and start to behave like the 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 temple your home and i give a technique and now you not going to see the buddha and start to see your husband wife children friends and family members and everyone as as the buddha and uh, do your best when you go to the buddha you you don't hold anything and that's where you will see rather than seeing like the demon when your husband wife children comes and the parents come you sometimes see them like a demons no see like the buddha and that way you will see and how you can transform this everything and how you can develop the wisdom not to come against you why because it come with the compassion it come with the understanding it never can go against you it always uplift you uplift you otherwise what will happen otherwise you miss the point it like this there was a young person well educated and he master all the logic and everything so one day he went to look for his salvation look for the spiritual master and he asked from people and he people so okay, go this way go that way and pass this village pass this mountain pass this forest so he went he went because he young he strong intelligence and so he went somehow came to the river and the other side of the river and he saw the master that he looking for and he start to talk and ask hey hey master how i can come to other side then the master told you are already in the other side and he left so what is the the message if you don't develop your wisdom in a right way even you come to the buddha you may ask the wrong question you're not going to get the right answer even you come to the right husband wife children friends and families parents most of time in day to day life look you ask wrong question you cannot ask the right question that's why you cannot get the right answer why because you don't see your thoughts your emotions your awareness your will you are not clear with that if you become clear the whatever come out of you at as a question and it going to become more clear 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 why because it develop that your clarity in the deeper clarity develop your logical mind so always when the question come out of that logical mind if you are not clear whatever the question you ask 
it's, it's not going to become a question. You're not going to get the right answer. You're going to miss the master. Even you reach to the point, if you don't ask the right question, you're not going to get the right answer. So learn to learn to exercise yourself, exercise yourself within your own thoughts, emotions, will, awareness and body-mind connection and then you will see and sometimes your appearance itself give the solution to a lot of questions in day-to-day -day life. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good practice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you, may no difficulties come to you, and may no problems come to you. May you also have the patient courage, the understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbhityo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo suki di gayuko bhava etavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhiya sabbe buddha numodantu sabba sampati siddhiya sabbe sata numodantu sabba sampati siddhiya Idam me punya kamanga savakaya vahano tu sabadukka pamanchatu. Bless you.